We continue our team coverage now on the coronavirus this morning. The economy has been hit hard by shutdowns. We've been hearing about it across the country. Well, in Hartford, hotels are really struggling, and now the city is looking for help. For more on this story, Caitlin Francis is back now. Tell us what we know, Kate. All right, Eric Nicole, two of the most recognizable buildings in the Hartford skyline could be closing. The Hilton and Marriott are dealing with major layoffs. Now the mayor is hoping to look at the impact as if they're small businesses since the effects is extend much deeper into Hartford. The Hartford, Hilton and Marriott are struggling financially. More than 300 people from housekeepers, room attendants, managers and those in food services have been laid off. And while these two hotels are big name national chains, the money and people they bring into the Hartford area are reasons Mayor Luke Bronin is looking for help. There may be a much bigger cost to the state in the uh, years ahead if these facilities end up closing down. Bronin is hoping that investment could help keep the industry alive more long term. With coronavirus concerns, events are canceled, a travel quarantine has been imposed, and hospitality and tourism experts say people are generally nervous about staying in hotels. And the effects are being felt by other nearby businesses. Well, those are very popular hotels in Hartford. Very, very popular. It will be a bummer to lose these hotels, man. It really will. Rodriguez says the business at Bears feeds off of events at the convention center where people would be traveling and staying at the hotels. The governor says he's not crazy about using taxpayer money to subsidize private businesses. But we'll look broadly at what we can do to uh, make sure that part of town gets going again. Now, Hartford's not necessarily a vacation destination, so hotels rely on those events. Both hotels are open, but on a limited basis. I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.